So in Kingdom Hearts 3, we got introduced to a lot of new plot elements that are going to take place in Phase 2. We got updated on the Foretellers, and now we know that they're in the current timeline after the epilogue of Kingdom Hearts 3. We also figured out that Lushu, one of the apprentices of the Master of Masters, was actually Zigbar the whole time. But one thing we got introduced to in a more subtle manner was Subject X. It was mentioned in the cutscene with Axon Sykes before the Keyblade War, and then a bit more after the duo had fought in the Keyblade Graveyard. But unlike the Foretellers and Lushu, this was the first time we've heard about this new mystery girl. And she seems to be really important because we see multiple cutscenes of Ansem Seeker of Darkness asking Ansem the Wise where she could be or where he hit her. Because according to Ansem, she has something to do with the battle between light and darkness that takes place in the current timeline. But I think based on the ending of Kingdom Hearts 3, we could probably take a good guess as to where Subject X currently is, or at least a good place to start looking. So with that being said, let's dive into a Kingdom Hearts theory about the location of Subject X. So as of right now, we know very little about Subject X, but thanks to the secret reports, we know a couple of things that hint towards a very specific character. We know thanks to Secret Report 4 that she comes from a world of fairy tales, or at least that's the conclusion that Xehanort comes to when he and the other lab code boys are questioning her. We also know that she's from the age of fairy tales because she knows the phrase may your heart be your guiding key, and she also said she came here with a couple of companions and remembers four friends and a key. Now, as I'm sure all of you know, all of these clues can only point to one character we know of. And unless Subject X is a completely new character that we've never heard of, we can pretty safely assume that it's Skull. And now with Skold in the current timeline, I think it's fair to assume that at least some of the next phase of Kingdom Hearts is going to be dedicated to finding her. Considering it seemed important enough to Lee and Isa to infiltrate the organization and turn themselves into nobodies to learn what happened to her, I think it's fair to say that we're not done with her story. And also, let's not forget, again, that Ansem Seeker of Darkness was looking for her in Kingdom Hearts 3, saying that she has something that concerns the battle between light and darkness. Now, considering Ansem specifically said her memory holds a mystery concerning the battle we seek between light and darkness, part of me thinks that that could hold some sort of double meaning. It could actually not be talking about the Keyblade War that happened in Kingdom Hearts 3, but the battle with the being known as darkness that we see in Unicross. But that's a theory for another day. But if you read Secret Report 1, you'll see that Subject X is actually gone and Ansem the Wise had nothing to do with it. Because in Secret Report 1, we see that Subject X was taken by a man with an eye patch, which we can assume is Lushu. So we know that Lushu probably has some sort of plan for her in the future of the series. But in that same report, Subject X says that even now, years on, I feel no closer to understanding who or what I am. So that seems like a throwaway line, but it's actually really important. Because that means Subject X is alive and well in this timeline. This happened around the time of Birth by Sleep, and she's been alive and well all this time, as opposed to someone like Ventus who had been asleep for over a decade. And why that's interesting to me is because if she's essentially free to come and go as she chooses, why is it that throughout our whole adventure we've never seen her? Or I guess more specifically, why is it that Saix and Axel have never been able to find her over the years? A theory I've had for a while is that Lushu freed Skull from Radiant Garden and he brought her to Scala at Kailu. I originally thought she could be at Twilight Town, possibly sleeping in some of the pods that Sora, Donald, and Goofy were sleeping in. But since the secret reports say that it's been a few years, part of me thinks that that's not the case based on the wording of that report. And on that same breath, I don't think it could be Data Twilight Town because that was specifically created by Diz for Roxas, so I don't think the timeline exactly matches up. I think it's definitely more probable that Lushu brought her to Scala at Kailu. There could be an argument that she's in Unreality, but I don't see enough that points her to being in Unreality, and in that same breath, I don't see Lushu knowing about that world or knowing enough about it to go back and forth between that universe and ours. But I think Skull being in Skylad Kylum could work for a few different reasons. Since the Skylad Kylum we see in Kingdom Hearts 3 isn't actually the real Skylad Kylum, it was a version of Skylad Kylum within Xehanort's heart, Saying she could be there because the world was empty when we went there wouldn't necessarily be an issue if they actually go to the real Scala at Kylum. Honestly, for all we know, the real Scala could be thriving and full of Keyblade rulers since it's been there for several hundred years since the end of Unicross. And if Scala at Kylum is still full of other Keyblade wielders, Skull would honestly fit right in and be fine since one Keyblade wielder out of many wouldn't make that big of a difference. And that could also explain why Axel and Sykes couldn't find her while working in the organization, as they probably didn't know Skylad Kailum had existed at that point, or, in the unlikely event that they did know about it, probably wouldn't jump into a world filled with Keyblade wielders ready to throw hands at any important time. 
at this point though, I do think Skull being Scala would be a good route to go because not only do you have Skull basically continuing where she left off with Scala being on top of Daybreak Town, but also that would give her a chance to potentially return in the next game. Because as we all know by now, Mickey was tasked with investigating Scala at Kailun by Master Yen Sib. So there is a chance that Mickey could go to Scala looking for information on the Ancient Masters and could find one there himself when he finds Skull. Because let's not forget, when Yen Sid told Mickey to find the Ancient Masters, he wasn't referencing the Foretellers since they're usually referred to as the Lost Masters. It was said that the Ancient Masters crossed into another world, so they must be referencing the Union Leaders. What could end up happening though is that Mickey arrives in the real Scala at Kailum and ends up finding Subject X and brings her back to Yen Sid and the others to reveal that she's actually one of the ancient masters they were looking for. Another theory that I've seen around is that Skull could actually end up replacing Ava as a foreteller. And if that does end up happening, we could possibly end up fighting Skull as Mickey when we get there. Or since we know that Lushu has some sort of plan for her, I could see Lushu and the Guardians of Light essentially racing to see who finds Skull first. The Guardians of Light could be trying to protect her while Lucia and the other foretellers could use her to replace Ava. And while none of this is really ironclad, I do think it would be interesting to see what happens to Subject X in the future and how she gets inserted into the story. And something else that would be interesting to see is seeing what side she actually ends up joining. Because based on what happened in Union Cross, I wouldn't necessarily blame her for joining up with the Foretellers and Lushu. They were of course her original masters and she would obviously have some sort of personal vendetta against the darkness. So in her eyes, the Foretellers and Lushu could be in the right and the Guardians of Light are the ones trying to get in the way. But all that to say, we know that Subject X is going to be pretty important and pretty relevant in Phase 2. And there are a ton of ways we can see her come back into the story. And what I presented here today are just a couple of ideas on how we could see the return of Skold in the future of the Kingdom Hearts series. But that's going to be all for me today, so this is Moose Wayne, signing off.